Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As a high-tech giant in China, Huawei has chosen to firmly embark on the path of self-developed chips under the predicament of US sanctions. Recently, Huawei has successively released new self-developed chips, such as the Kirin 9000S processor, Honghu 900 Smart TV chip, and Kirin 9610A automotive chip, demonstrating its strong strength in the chip field. The release of this series of chips not only demonstrates Huawei's strength in the field of self-developed chips, but also injects new vitality into the development of China's semiconductor industry. However, Huawei's road to self-developed chips has not been smooth sailing. Due to the impact of US sanctions, Huawei has encountered difficulties in obtaining high-end chip manufacturing equipment. This forces Huawei to seek other avenues such as domestic production and packaging of its own advanced chips. Despite the difficulties it faces, Huawei still firmly promotes the development of self-developed chips and does not give up its efforts to continuously innovate. At the same time, Huawei continues to increase investment in talent and technology to further enhance its R&D and production capabilities. The rise of Huawei's self-developed chips has not only brought huge impetus to the development of China's semiconductor industry, but also brought a new competitive landscape to the global semiconductor market. ASML's new plan has intensified competition in the chip market. Amid changes and competition in the global chip market, lithography machine giant ASML announced new plans, further intensifying competition in the chip market. According to ASML's statement, the company will begin production of 10 state-of-the-art NAEUV lithography machines in 2024. These lithography machines have the ability to produce 2 nanometers chips and are one of the most cutting-edge chip process technologies currently. Although ASML's new plan brings the possibility of new process technologies to the global chip market, it does not mean that all manufacturers have equal access to these advanced lithography machines. It is reported that Intel in the United States has booked six NAEUV lithography machines in advance, while other chip manufacturing giants, such as TSMC and Samsung can only divide the remaining four machines. This situation has undoubtedly intensified competition in the global chip market, with various manufacturers vying for advanced equipment to maintain their competitiveness. TSMC's dominance is facing challenges. TSMC has long held a leading position in the global chip manufacturing market. However, as the global technology landscape changes and competition intensifies, TSMC's dominance faces unprecedented challenges. On the one hand, with the breakthroughs and increasing strength of Chinese high-tech companies such as Huawei in the field of self-developed chips, the structure of the global chip market is changing. The strong rise of Huawei's self-developed chips has brought new opportunities to China's semiconductor industry. With its strength and continuous innovation capabilities, Huawei has become a strong competitor to international chip giants such as TSMC. On the other hand, US companies such as Intel are also strengthening their presence in the chip manufacturing field. Intel has ordered ASML's NAEUV lithography machine and plans to produce 2 nanometers chips in its own factory. This undoubtedly poses a threat to TSMC's position in the global high-end chip market. In addition, TSMC also faces competitive pressure from other international competitors such as Samsung. Samsung already has strong capabilities in the field of memory chips and is also actively deploying the R&D and production of advanced process technologies. To sum up, with the rise of Huawei's self-developed chips, the implementation of ASML's new plan, and changes in the global technology landscape, TSMC's dominance in the global chip market seems to be facing unprecedented challenges. Faced with this challenge, TSMC needs to continue to innovate, improve its own strength and respond to market changes to maintain its leading position. At the same time, for the global semiconductor industry, 
competition, and cooperation will be the norm in the future. Only by strengthening cooperation and common development can enterprises from various countries remain invincible in the fiercely competitive environment. Taking the above article as a background, in view of the rise of Huawei's self-developed chips and the challenges posed by ASML's new plan to TSMC's dominance, as well as the competitive situation in the global chip market, I deeply feel that the development of the modern technology industry is not just a matter of one country. It is a process of global cooperation and competition. As a Chinese high-tech giant, Huawei is becoming an important player in the global chip market with its strength and unremitting efforts in self-developed chips. At the same time, ASML's new plan as a lithography machine giant has also triggered a competition among global chip manufacturers. This series of events illustrates that the global chip market is shifting from a single hegemon to a new pattern of multiple competition. Against this background, TSMC's dominance is indeed facing unprecedented challenges. Not only does it come from the rise of domestic companies such as Huawei, but it also faces pressure from international competitors such as Intel and Samsung. However, I don't think TSMC will be replaced. Its technology and experience in semiconductor manufacturing are still among the best in the world. TSMC's continued investment in technological innovation and process upgrades, as well as its close cooperation with the world's top chip design companies, will be the key to maintaining its leading position. At the same time, the development of the global semiconductor industry also requires enterprises from various countries to strengthen cooperation and common development. Technology does not respect national boundaries. Only through joint efforts and cooperation can the prosperity and progress of the global semiconductor industry be promoted. Competition between China and the United States is normal, but at the same time, mutual respect and fair competition are also required. Only by establishing an open and transparent market environment and promoting global cooperation and exchanges can the global chip industry usher in a more prosperous future. In my opinion, Huawei's road to self-developed chips and ASML's new plan both reflect the power of technological innovation and competition. This not only brings changes to the global chip market, but also injects new impetus into the development of the global semiconductor industry. In the future, with the advancement of technology and changes in the market, competition in the global chip market will become more intense. Under such a situation, TSMC needs to continuously improve its own strength and strengthen its innovation capabilities to maintain its leading position. At the same time, companies from various countries also need to strengthen cooperation to jointly promote the development of the global semiconductor industry and achieve a mutually beneficial and win-win situation. Click to follow me and get more exciting content.